Hey guys, welcome back to Talia Talks Tuesdays. And I just wanted to hop on here and say hello and share a little something with you. So someone asked me the other day, how did I start my business? I was at the beauty school and I was talking to some of the students and that was a question that kept coming up in every classroom that I went to. So I wanna share that with you, how I started. My business started, I, I would say I was 14 when I started um, actually receiving real money <laughs> for doing hair. But before then, it all started when my mother refused to allow me to get a relaxer in my hair. And I'm talking about during the time when everybody had a relaxer. All of my friends had relaxers, their moms had relaxers, but my mother refused to let me have one. So I had to learn how to manage my big, poofy, natural, chemical-free hair. And it was a challenge at first because I didn't know what to do. But as I started playing with different products, lotions, and um even Vaseline, believe it or not, I would put that in my hair and water it and I would find that when my hair was damped or, or it had um, some kind of moisturizing products in it, that it was easy for me to uh, run my fingers through my hair. It was easy for me to comb my hair. And I, something that I discovered that I wanted everyone to know. And so I started uh, doing my girlfriend's hair. I started doing neighbor's hair and um, their parents' hair. And so my auntie saw me doing all of this hair and she had a little area at the end of her hallway in the apartment where I stayed with her. And she allowed me to turn that into my little first salon. And I did so much hair there. Um, I was really excited about sharing what I discovered about my natural hair, that it wasn't bad, like I was told uh, back then. And that if you learned how to manage it, properly part it, section it off, use some products to moisturize it, it'll be easier to manage this hair. So it, it wasn't a bad thing. And I was so excited about it, I wanted everybody to know. So my friends had all of these popular hairstyles that they were wearing with relaxes. And luckily I was really creative, so I was able to mimic a lot of those hairstyles with my natural hair. And my friends were so impressed with that. They wanted me to do their hair. So I started doing their hair, uh, braiding their hair, braiding their, um, their mom's hair, and it just I just became the popular hairstylist in the neighborhood. I started getting clients from everywhere that wanted me to do their hair. And it all stemmed from the experience that I had. Uh, my mom not allowing me to have a relaxer. So uh, I look at it like uh, it allowed me to educate myself about natural hair, my hair, what it does, what it doesn't do. And it got me excited and wanted to share that information with everybody that I could about natural hair. So that's how I got started with doing natural hair. And from there, found a uh, braiding salon and I started working in a braiding salon and I learned a lot in that salon from the lady that um, owned the salon. I learned a lot about business, not just hair care, I learned a lot about business, about you know healthy hair care, styling, and um, I learned um, what I would and not, what I would do and what I wouldn't do with my business when I have my own salon one day. And when I walked into that salon, I, I told the owner that, you know, I, I wanna work for you, I love being here, but I want my own salon one day. And I made, a, made it a point to give her 110% and learn as much as I could. So when did I open my own salon, I would be experienced enough to make sure that I'm giving the best service, the best quality, and yeah.